Today I will talk about online algorithm for machine learning. So uh, first I will introduce the setting of the problem, and next I will introduce a few online learning algorithms. So let's start with an example. Say we have a mail system, and we want to tell if a new email is spam or not. Also we can get feedback from the users, learn from it, and perform better for future emails. We have a continual streaming of data coming in. So by streaming, we mean there are promising data coming in, so we don't even have to look at the previous example. So we see the whole process as, these, uh, as consecutive runs. In each run, we are given a question as feature vector. So we make prediction according to a hypothesis of this run. Now we see a feedback answer calculates loss according to a loss function. Different from typical machine learning problem, our objective is not to minimize the loss function for a set of given questions and answers. We hope to minimize the cumulative loss for the whole process. However, an adversary can always make the cumulative loss of our online learning algorithm arbitrarily large. Uh, he can just look at our prediction and give, a, uh, give an opposite answer. So we restate our objective as minimize the regret. So as we see, the regret is uh, the, the loss of the un online algorithm uh, minus the, optim and, uh, the optimal fixed hypothesis, hypothesis, uh, hypothesis on this problem. So this is termed regret since it measures how sorry the learner is for it could have choose some better hypothesis to this problem. So we can cause, uh, uh, so we can re uh, see this problem as a convex problem. So if, the, if both the vector space and the loss function are convex, uh, if the loss function are not convex, that's like 0, 1 loss function, we might uh, turn this into hinge loss function. So the re uh <coughs> This picture shows how we find a convex upper bound for the 0, 1 uh, loss function. So we use hinge loss instead of 0, 1, so we get a we turn the problem into a convex programming problem. So now, now we can now we have a con we have a convex uh, programming problem. So we can find the optimal. Uh, so we so we can find the due objective of the of this problem. So uh, here the the function f is the measure of complexity of omega, and uh, we denote the loss function as function g. So we can find the due objective as, as we show in the slide. Uh, here, uh, f star and g star are central conjugate of the function f and g. Next, uh, I will talk about several, uh, several algorithms. A very natural one is perception. So we have a hypothesis as weight vector that is a linear combination of the previous instances. We classify the new instance according to the linear inner product of the weight vector and new instance. If we make a mistake, we add or subtract the new instance from the weight vector. Let's review our first example. The new e email comes in. We first turn our email into a feature vector and also we label spam as plus one, not spam as minus one. We predict the label to be one or minus one and compare to the user's feedback. If we are all right, we just do nothing. If it's plus one, plus one uh, is a plus one instance, but we predict it as minus one. We add the feature vector to the weight vector. Or if uh, it's a minus one instance, and we predict it as a uh, plus one, so we subtract the feature vector from the weight vector. 
So we can come up with some other algorithm that is similar to perception. So perception uh, update in uh, additive, uh, addip additive type. So we may also use multiplicative update like Vino and weighted majority. In weighted majority algorithm, we might imagine there are lots of experts. In each round, the experts make a prediction. If one expert is doing run, we cut off its weight. We follow the prediction of experts with most weight. Also, we can use the weight as a probability. So we make randomized prediction according to the weight. We might avoid making mistakes when most experts are doing run. So in this way, we, may, we might lower the mistake bound. So let, uh, let's lo look at the mistake bound of weighted majority. So say the, uh, so assume that uh, experts weight drop by 50% if it, it make a mistake. So in each time, uh, so in each time we make a mistake, the total weight drop by at least 25%. So in this way, we can, we can find the total mistakes we made is uh, linear to the mistakes of the best experts plus uh, uh, plus the number uh, the log of number of experts. Also, uh, the idea of boosting is to combine some weak learners to get a strong learner. In each run, we assign higher weight to to the example where we previously do run. We get weak learners from the examples with different weight. So boosting can also be applied to online learning. As usual, we have some weight for the example, but only for the nearest example. Now, also we have some bit hypothesis. According to the performance of hypothesis, we update the weight of examples and weight of weak learners. Finally, for a new instance, we make prediction according to the weak learner with different weight. So this, uh, this is the end of the presentation. Thank you.